Welcome to the 250th episode of your weekly UAS news update. That's right, 250. Now we have three stories for you this week. The Florida man sentenced after shooting a drone down. We have Skybra's light. And then lastly, the AMA has gotten approval for temporary fryers. Let's get to it. First up this week is an update on a story we've been covering since 2021. Uh, back in 2021, a sheriff's drone was looking for burglary suspects and then was shut down by a man who claimed that the drone was harassing him. Uh, it was a $30,000 Matrice 300. Uh, it crashed into a nearby building, actually caught on fire. Uh, the fire was quickly contained and then there was no permanent damage to the structure. But uh, the gentleman, his name is Wendell Goni, uh, was identified as a person of interest, was contacted by the police short, shortly after the crash. Uh, Guni claimed that the drone was harassing him and then admitted to shooting the drone using a 22 rifle. Deputies then arrested him for possessing a firearm as a convicted felon. Uh, this week, finally, there was a judgment. A U.S. district judge gave the 29-time felon, 29-time felon, a four-year prison sentence for the incident. Now, we'll have to see if this sets a precedent for other court cases, but I have a feeling this is a, a very specific situation that we're uh, dealing with here. Next up this week is our friends over at Skybrows. Uh, Skybrows released a light version this week of their software, adding a monthly plan that's going to be between the free and the enterprise. The light version adds a higher accuracy down to two inches and then also priority processing for uh, $49 a month. Now, if you're not familiar with Skybrows, it's an online processing software that actually uses videos in order to create 3D models instead of photos like most software. Uh, those videos can be from nearly any source, which is the really cool thing. And then it doesn't require GPS information. So uh, if you don't want or you don't need to pay for the uh, paid model, uh, Skybrows also has their freemium still available, which allows you to pay to unlock any tools that you need uh, when using the platform. And for the last story this week, the AMA has gotten approval from the FAA for temporary freeze. Uh, the approval is only applicable to AMA event. Uh, at this stage, we're not sure if it's going to be available to other CBOs like the Flight Test Community Association or uh, FPV Freedom Coalition or even STEM C+. Now, NOTAMs will be required for these events at least 24 hours in advance, and then the participants, unfortunately, must be AMA members. So if you're not and you're hoping to participate, then you'll have to uh, pay the fee to the AMA. Now, we'll keep you updated if we hear more about this kind of story. That's it. That's all we have for you this week. Week. No live on Monday. As a reminder, I will be traveling to Texas for a conference. So we'll see you on Friday for the next news update. I'm doing my haircut differently. The halo is normal. It's my divine quality. <laughs> no, I say Freya because Vic makes fun of me. No, Freya. Freya. It's an I for identification. So it's Freya.